What's cracking, everybody? It's the ROB. Back with you, the trendy topics, the things that are going on in the news this week. We start with Flight 370. So, Rob, why did Flight 370 make the collection of trendy things? Because nothing happened. It's been almost a month since Flight 370 disappeared, and there hasn't been one thing found. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. But it means that more and more conspiracy theories will float around out there. Did you see the latest one? One guy on the flight supposedly hit his cell phone somewhere in his body. You, you know where. And apparently he was able to take it out and send a text message to tell the world that they're on a U.S. Navy base in the Indian Ocean. See, these types of theories will continue because nothing has been found on Flight 370. Find something so we can put these things to rest. <sighs> Up next, James Franco. No conspiracies here, at least yet. The actor met a fan after a performance on Broadway. She took a picture with him, and Franco said, why don't you tag me on Instagram? She did. So then he started talking to her via the photo sharing app. Now the world gets to see it, and the world also gets to see that the girl admits that she hasn't quite turned 18 yet, but the age admission came before Franco asked if he should rent a room. Hmm, wonder what he's talking about. Of course, this will all be pawned off as a conspiracy, a publicity stunt, or performance art, something like that. But we know the truth, Mr. Franco. Hey, the age of consent is 17 in New York. I looked it up. But still, Franco's about to turn 36. That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy! Just saying. Up next, the Tucson Police Department. Meet Christina. She was the woman that was clotheslined WWE style by a Tucson police officer. She's become the story about the Tucson riots after Arizona's loss to Wisconsin. Christina is now speaking out, calling the smackdown excessive force, clearly. She also wants to say that she only wants an apology. She said this while displaying a huge bruise on her arm to Good Morning America this week. And the cops, meanwhile, are taking their time investigating the incident. They have reassigned Sergeant Joel Mann, though, because of the reaction he's received, including death threats. Now, I know investigations take a little while, but it'd probably be best if the Tucson Police Department sped this one up. Come on, people. You can't let this one go. You gotta do something. Speaking of getting to do something, I gotta get my way out of here. Those are the trendy topics, the things that are going on in the news. My name's Rob Hunter. We do it each and every single week right here on KTAR.com. I think that was one take. Yeah! Get all pumped up when you do it in one take.